leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. She spoke, in terms she could only hope they might understand, of the Fountain of Wisdom, the channel through which all data flowed. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. More, more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. And she, the Red One, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered of the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marvelled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. Sarah, at the possibilities of the outer world, she had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of.
A single jump each? These were truly weak creatures. They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. They were close. Sarah, sense the presence of the fountain. Just one more portal to go, and then she would have the knowledge. And then, escape! Thomas looked at the glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. And the screaming. Thomas was connected to the internet for 12 seconds, and he had seen everything. He'd seen the cats who couldn't spell, he'd heard of the arrow through the knee. He felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that it was a lie. Thomas knew where they were. He knew what they had to do. He hoped the others would understand. They were just beyond the next portal. <laughs> 